Hi there, everybody. Um, weeks five and six. So here, the first week talked all about Jesus, all about the second person of the Trinity, and then the next week, all about the church, the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Um, so we began discussing Jesus. You know, we went through his whole life. We'd start with the incarnation, and this is where the Trinity takes on the human form, and we have the concept of the hypostatic union. And this is where we have Jesus Christ, you know, 100% God, 100% man, but in one bodily, one human form. Um, so then we go into the birth narrative, and this is only found in Matthew and Luke's gospel. Um, and we can see some, some people would say contradictions already appearing in Jesus' life before he's even born. And this is where um, the angel appears to um, Mary in Luke's gospel, but appears to Joseph in Matthew's gospel. And people will say, oh, throw out the whole validity of the Bible and of Jesus with this here. Um, but who's not to say, you know, the angel didn't appear to both Mary and Joseph, but Matthew just records it one way and Luke records it another. Um, so then we get into the hidden years of Jesus, and here we have, um, this is all found in Luke's gospel, and this is where Jesus is stays behind in the temple after the Passover, after everyone goes back home. And this is where he is found teaching, and he's amazing the elders with his great wisdom that he possesses. And his parents come back, and they say, where are we at, my son? And he said, has these famous words that, did you not know that I would be in my father's house? Um, so kind of just, he already knows of how his role that he is going to have on humanity and what he needs to be doing. Um, so then we get into his public ministry, and this all starts at the age of 30, and this is where he begins after he gets baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. And we talk about all how you go through all the Gospels and talk about all his mighty works and signs and miracles that he performs. Um, but we kind of hinted on this point about how, you know, sometimes you hear people say, you know, it'd be easier to believe in Jesus and all this church stuff, you know, if I was there when Jesus walked the earth and I could see him multiplying the fish and bread and all the miracles he performed, you know, making or lame people walk and whatnot. But some of the most profa most powerful miracles that Jesus performed were ones that weren't visible to the eyes, you know, where Jesus, you know, cleansed the souls of um, sinners and, you know, he declared them forgiven. And that's ultimately the most powerful miracle Jesus performed, but they're not visible to the human eye. Um, so, yeah, we just discussed that and how you can kind of combat that argument a little bit. Um, then we talked about the crucifixion, death, and resurrection. And the coolest point I got a thought, or the coolest thing I brought out of this was how Jesus was on the cross from 12 in the afternoon to 3 in the afternoon. And how 12 and 3, they, you know, there's those are key vital numbers in the um, Bible. You have 12, you got the 12 apostles, then you have the 12 nations of Israel, and 3, you got the concept of the Trinity, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you got, I mean, there's just countless examples. You know, P Jesus, or Peter denies Jesus three times, and you just go on and on and on. Um, but I just thought that was interesting, something I wasn't aware of. Um, so then the next week we went and discussed the church, you know, the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And this is probably one of the most, or one of the biggest things that um, kind of persuaded me or brought me into the Catholic church was the concept of Jesus Christ founding the Catholic church and how this isn't something that is hidden. You know, you gotta, you don't gotta read 10, 000, 10 books to find this. Um, it's pretty blatantly obvious. You just search who's the founder of the Catholic church on the internet and it pops up Jesus Christ. Um, and we got this sheet, you know, of, where, where, what is the history of your church? And it shows all these different denominations and what year they were established and who founded them. But at the top is Jesus, or is Jesus Christ the founder in 33 of the Catholic Church? And, you know, I was posed this question a couple of years ago, you know, what's the history of your church? And I didn't have any, didn't have any answer to it. So I came about all this research and found that, well, my particular denomination came from a branch off of this and this and this, and it all goes back to the Catholic Church. Um, and the concept of how, you know, we are all the body of Christ and how we need to be a one, be a, be unified together. And I don't know, there's just something about all of God's people being, agreeing on, you know, all of his teachings and stuff in one church. And I just see that there's a lot of value in that. And ultimately that is why I decided to convert to Catholicism. Um, but, you know, we talked about the church and how that is the spousal love God has for his people and where the church is the bride and Christ is the bridegroom and that, you know, you have that relationship of the bride and the bridegroom. Um, so we went through and talked a lot about the church. We talked about the apostolic succession and Peter and the role of the Pope and stuff. Um, and ultimately, we discussed how, you know, we have the church or we have so many things in Christianity because of the church. And we have like, you know, the New Testament. We have the concept of the Holy Trinity. Um so we went into a lot of detail and there's a lot more detail that you can go into um and if you have any questions you know you i've researched a lot about this because it is one of the things that ultimately played to my conversion um so yeah um, 
great some great things we went through and talked about um and yeah that's just why i became catholic ultimately because you know jesus christ founded the church and why would you not want to be a part of the church that jesus christ founded um and not a branch off so yeah hope that helps wrap this video up any questions feel free to reach out um thanks for watching love one love life love all